Hey guys, Robert Fields here, the host of Field Trips, and you're watching Field Trips Panama. Now, this is not an actual episode. This is kind of behind the scenes, uh, bonus footage, if you will, of an unfortunate bycatch. Now, bycatches are an inevitable part of fishing. Sometimes you hook animals you're not targeting. And while I know this is gonna be somewhat controversial, some people are gonna get upset, I thought it was important to share this footage to really emphasize the importance of doing everything you can to release any animal that you may inadvertently hook while you're fishing. So take a look at this. It's important to us to make sure that we leave the ocean and its inhabitants exactly the way we found them when we get off the water. Check this out, it was crazy. Peter here is hooked up. Lives in Spain, he's here in Panama, and he's hooked up big. Hooked up on the Blue Runner live bait. He's been waiting for his turn here on the last day. He was kind of giving up hope. I kept telling you what I keep telling you. Yeah! It's not over. It only takes one second to change a whole trip. Oh yeah. There has to be a rooster. Yeah, just take it away. Here we go, you got this, bro, you got this. You got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, first beer's on me, Peter, if you get this fish. And you thought that really You know, I talk a lot, but you can't. Oh, a turtle. A turtle. I can't believe it's a turtle. Oh, man. No way. How is that possible with the circle hook? <laughs> is this just a joke? What? <laughs> How did you get a turtle on a live blue runner, Peter? That I'm, I'm like impressed. I, I don't even understand how that's. Hey, it's a it's a good fight though. No, I mean, hooked a sea turtle on a live blue runner on a circle hook. I, I can't really wrap my head around the physics of how that's possible, but I know this guy is, is super disappointed right now. He thought this was this was his moment. He's been waiting for the rooster fish, and uh, that is a slightly different species. Oh man, I thought I had a fish there, man. It, it all seemed really weird, but I never imagined it'd be a turtle. I, I still don't understand how it can happen. Didn't even cross my mind it was a turtle. Yeah, he'll come up to breathe. Adam rescuing the turtle. Professional turtleman. Go, go! Oh, now he counts as a No! <laughs> He's a strong one. He's a strong one. I saw it. I saw it. I think I got it all on video, bro. I was. Hey, hey, you're gonna get some weird. Yeah, yeah. What were we talking about? YouTube death threats? We're gonna get a bunch from this one. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. He's tired. Yeah, he's tired. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's get these hook. Get this hook out of this guy. Oh. Oh, he's really, really not happy. He's wrapped. It's okay. We can get him off. No, we don't look at it. Are you trying to shush him? Poor guy. They're working hard to get the line off this turtle, so he's okay. You have to get a knife there. Okay. Do you want a picture? Look at that beautiful, beautiful turtle. Sorry. Poor guy. Sorry, He's okay. He's totally okay. Yep. And there he goes. Took off. Nice work, Adam. Nice work. All right, well, I've never seen that before. Uh, Peter was trolling that live bait and I guess the line wrapped around that turtle, but luckily we got it up, got the line off it, set it on its way unharmed. Always unfortunate when you have to put a turtle through something like that on accident, but it's important to us to let it, you know, get it, get it free, let it on its way. And the turtle should be just fine. A little worn out, just got abducted by aliens, but no worse for the wear. And we all gotta go laugh at Peter. <laughs> He's still got his bait though. <laughs> That was wild.